Um, hopeful, hopefully you guys are doing well. It's been a trying season for many of us, and many of us are are getting through this season the best we can. And it's been a minute since I have been online. And all I have to say today is, um, God gave me a word because I was like, Lord, what would you have me speak? It's been a while and you're not giving me anything. And sometimes the Lord will have you take a break from stuff to reevaluate where you're going. And that's the season I'm in right now. And um, where I'm reevaluating ministry and where he wants me to go and I'm asking what what else is next and whatever. And he did give me this one word. He said, um, your miracle is in the turn. In this season where things are so up, things are starting to open up places in Toronto and uh, different places, but things are still really uncertain. And there are all kinds of twists and turns. But he said to me, he said, your miracle is in your turn. So the things, the thing that you think is just nothing, the thing that you have been working on in the dark, that you think, oh, this is just a little thing, that's where your miracle is going to uh, come. And he says, in this season, miracles are going to be ordinary miracles, which means they're going to be kind of everyday things that he's going to turn around and use for his glory. So he said, uh, don't be afraid to turn. Don't be afraid to change course. Because he said, that's where your miracle's going to be. He said... Your miracle is in your turn. You've been praying for God to change things. You've been praying for God to do do certain things. And you're like, why is my life going this way? He said, your miracle is in your turn. So the way you thought life was going to go, that's not where... Um, the Lord, the Lord is saying your miracle was. He said, don't mourn over the miracle you wish you had. Celebrate what he's going to do. And it's, and it's in your turn. Um, he says, in your turn, you will find what you've been looking for. And what you thought you were looking for is, not what you really need because sometimes we don't know what we really need until we find it he always he's been saying to me this week so much this week he said your miracle is in your turn don't worry about before don't worry about how many sermons you're preaching don't worry about not going to certain things. Don't worry about not having the des desire for certain things. When that thing is right for you, or whatever's right for you, it will be c so clear. He's like, don't worry about what you left behind or what you're not doing or what's going on. God is working on something new. Uh, we're we're all talking about this new normal. What's it going to look like? It's going to look like whatever God wants it to look like. And we 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 may have to contribute to it, but we won't have to start it. So don't worry about why am I not hanging around with the same people. Why aren't I having the desire to go to the same groups? What do I do? And he's saying just 
sit tight. Your miracle is in your turn. Your miracle is in your swerve. Your miracle is in the unexpected. A few weeks ago, I was talking about expecting the unexpected and how God is going to work in the unexpected. Um, but he said, to add to that, he said, your miracle is in your turn. Sometimes we kind of... Um, we kind of get upset about um, things not working out the way we plan, but we don't understand that our plans are not God's plans. God's plans are much bigger and much better, and our miracle is in the way that it's turning. The turn may not have been our plan, but God is working out everything for his good and for his glory. And he just wants you to, you to know that um, he's with you in the turn. He loves you in the turn. He'll give you peace in the turn. And everything you need is there. You just have to trust him in the turn. You have to know that your miracle is in the turn and although it's not what you originally planned it will be so much greater than whatever you dreamed whatever you dreamed he has so much for you beloved and he just wants you to know that um, whatever you were dreaming what he's got for you is so much better than what your mind can conceive. And all these twists and turns, you just have to know that your miracle is in your turn. And, and don't find your significance in stuff. He said, find your significance in him. Because the turn... He said, the, the, the turn is not so much to, do, to get you a new job or whatever. The turn, the turn is not for anything external, like a new job, a new house, or marriage, or whatever. The turn is to work in you. He wants to work on something inside you. Yes, Lord. The turn is to work inside you. He's working inside you. He's developing things in you. So the turn is not really something ex in external. It's something internal. And that's what he, he wants you to know. Your miracle is in your turn whether that be internal progress or it could be external pro progress but he but he's saying that it's mostly internal because what is manifested on the outside most times has to begin on the inside so if he gives you a new car, but you're not ready to receive it on the inside, it'll just be a new thing for you to drive around or whatever. You won't appreciate it. But if he starts working on your gratitude by getting you to write a gratitude journal or by giving you a little nudge to, to say thank you to, for something, then when you get the new car, you know to be grateful for it. Because he's been working on, on the aspect of gratefulness within you. So that's what I mean. Everything external has to start with an internal component. So your miracle is in your turn and the turn will start internal um 
and that's interesting internal so in your in your turn the turn will start internally <laughs> that's re really an interesting wordplay the turn is internal <laughs> and then start and then flows out externally so um that's so great for, for us fellow English majors or English enthusiasts that are into wordplay and all that. Uh, so, see you later. And don't fight the turn. Have expectation in the turn. A lot of people... Um, try and fight the turn, they try and um, hold the bike back from turning or whatever, but if you just go with the turn, it will be smoother, and it might be, it might feel a little rocky at, at this, at a time, but it will smooth out. The Lord is saying, the turn might be a little rocky, but it will smooth out. And he wants to, you to know that um, he will be with you in the turn. Or in the, in the twist. So guys, I'm really, I'm really happy that you've watched this little sermon today. God bless you. I have no idea when the Lord will um, have me on again. I don't know whether he'll have me on a schedule. I don't know what he's going to do with me, but I'm excited to, to see what he's doing um, internally and how will, will internally in me as a preacher and a person and how it will manifest externally. I'm just excited about it. Um, and and hopeful and prayerful and full of expectation about what he'll do with my ministry, with me as a person, with me as a woman. Um, I'm just excited to see what turns he's got for me. Take care. Bye. Sorry, I'm like singing totally clip to the heart. You know, wondering why am I doing that? Because it says turn around. <laughs> and I was just talking about turning. So it's word association again. Sorry about that. Um, God bless you. Um, see you next time. Bye.